I'm going to show you proof that the Jesuits are behind the legalization of miscegenation in America, the, the uh, sin of interracial marriage. There are two Jesuit lawyers that were behind this, that got these laws overturned. I'm going to show you this. The first one is Bernard S. Cohen. He was the former politician and Democratic member of the Virginia House of Delegates. And what was his education? And mentions he was part of the Loving vs. Virginia, Virginia thing, the case that overturned the anti-miscegenation laws. Where was he trained? Oh, Georgetown University. Georgetown University is a Jesuit school. The second lawyer, uh, Philip Herkichkop, I think that's how you say it. Uh, again, part of the whole Loving vs. Virginia, Virginia case. And where was he trained at? He uh, attended Columbia, Columbia University. And then if you read the whole thing, he uh, attended Columbia University. And then while well, at law school at, Je he says, while well, still at law school at Georgetown. You know, he talks about down there. But they both went to Georgetown University. Both are Jesuit trained. If you go through there, they talk about how they are behind uh, the legalization of miscegenation in America. Interracial marriage is a Roman Catholic Jesuit uh, scheme for America. Because the Bible condemns it, but because the Catholic Church, they hate the Bible, they have to go against it. And uh, they, as I said, only a few years out of school, he volunteered as an attorney for the ACLU, a very socialist, communist, uh, left-wing group, the ACLU. Uh, in the case of Loving vs. Virginia, before the Supreme Court of the United States, the, this red spot right here shows where, the, where uh, up to 1967, where interracial marriage was still against the law. And they got those laws overturned, you know, because they're the Society of the Antichrist, not Society of Jesus Christ. But yeah, Georgetown University, it's a Jesuit school. You go down there, um, the uh, Georgetown University is the oldest Jesuit school in the United States of America. They're Jesuits. So these two lawyers that got these laws overturned, they're Jesuits. The Jesuits are behind the legalization of miscegenation in America. The uh, sin of interracial marriage. They got those laws overturned. And it's kind of funny because these people that got the laws overturned, they actually said this paved the way for basically sodomy being overturned. The, the, law, the laws against sodomite marriage. Those got overturned, like we said, because the laws, they banned interracial marriage. So they said basically that these laws that got interracial marriage legalized, they paved the way for the anti-sodomite laws, or sodomite marriage laws being overturned. And as a result, sodomite marriage also got legalized uh, years later, like decades later. So, but first it was miscegenation, then sodomite marriage got legalized. So the Jesuits are, in, in a way, behind sodomite marriage too. They're behind both sodomite and miscegenation because they're, they're wicked and they want to go against God's laws. So yeah, there you go. Um, the two Jesuit, the two, the two lawyers are Jesuit trained. They went to Jesuit schools, and again, according to the Jesuits' own handbook, if you went to a Jesuit school, you are part of the Jesuit family. So, uh, don't be deceived when you, when people say the Jesuits are not behind all everything. The Jesuits don't run the world. Yes, they do. Okay, uh, the the Jesuit power structure controls most of the countries. There are a few countries they don't control, but most countries are in line with are in bed with the Jesuits. That's why they all all have to go and meet with the Pope, who himself is also a Jesuit. So. I don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.